the future plans of this this is a uh, an outdoor living area so this is open to uh, have the view of the waterfront view we're gonna have uh, this this pole right here will be wrapped some type of covering and then we'll have uh, a grill and an outdoor gas fireplace out here uh, for the guests so this will extend essentially um, from the interior you can see this large opening here out onto the covered patio area so patrick we just saw you guys put up the beam um, that was pretty neat that went really smoothly uh, last time I was out here, you guys had just poured the walls for the uh, for the house. And it looks like you guys have made a, a lot of progress already. Uh, what have you done since you guys poured the walls? So since we poured the walls, we've removed all the scabbing and all the buckouts around the actual house. So that was all the plywood and the two by fours that you saw supporting the openings and along the fox box. So we didn't have any blowouts. We've removed all of that. We put six inches what they call capillary break inside of the house, the gravel you see inside. I made a nice level surface, so now we can put our two inches of rigid foam insulation, followed by a six mil vapor barrier. We've also framed out the opening uh, of all the doorways, the two sliding doors and the front entryway, and we will pour those with concrete today. And if you look inside of those, those have two inch rigid foam as well. And that will meet the foam on the floor so there is no thermal break of those at those openings. Awesome. Very cool. It looks like you guys got the septic in too, is that right? Yes, so we had a septic company come out, 
They connect it to the septic that we put in the house. There's actually three tanks right here. And then it goes up the slope to the septic drain field, which will be like a leaching system. Very cool. And then along with uh, pouring this out the house, you guys actually built um, this shed over here, right? Correct. So we have a 15 by 12 foot ICF shed that we dug the footing foundation. We're going to do a mono pour, meaning that we're going to pour the floors and the walls all at the same time. It is structurally sound just as the house. It has horizontal rebar every 16 inches, vertical rebar every 16 inches, as well as your angles in the corners. Um, the floor, everything's tied in together, and we're gonna do one pour. So this is what should look like the house did with the scabs on the back wall, the two by four here in the opening, supporting the opening, the upper portion of it. Go ahead, so this will all be poured in one pour, huh? So the walls, the floor. Correct. Everything. Awesome. And then what are we actually putting in here exactly? Okay, so the two pipes you see coming on the left with the red tape on top, that's gonna be for our expansion tank from our wellhead. We'll have water line coming in from the wellhead into the expansion tank, and then another water line going out of the expansion tank into the house. And then on the right, what you see is the cluster of electrical um, conduits that are going to be used throughout. We have 240 for the hot tub shut off. We have 110 for the septic tank system. We have the main feed, the main power panel will be, or um, circuit breaker panel will be in this shack. And then there will be a sub panel in the house for tenants to use if something wants to go wrong. Gotcha. And then a couple spares for future. Awesome. Very cool. Well, thanks for the rundown, Patrick. We're going to um, wait for this concrete truck and the pump to get here and uh, we'll catch up then. Yeah.